What's going on everyone? This is Trevor here for RSG and today we're going to be talking about the 8-man 4K. And which one are we going to be talking about? Are we going to be talking about this 8-man 4K? Or are we going to be talking about this 8-man 4K? Well, if you want to know more what I'm talking about, well then just keep watching because there's no intro. We're not skipping. We're just going right into it because I still have to make a new intro. Anyways, let's do what I'm talking about here and talk about... These 8-man 4Ks starting out with this is the carrying case that came with this awesome 8-man 4K that was awesome at one point. And we're going to talk into what happened. So uh, the new one, though, didn't come with a nice case like this. It came with a box and just said, here you go. And, uh, you know, it didn't come with this. It just came with a box. That was it. Yeah, yeah. I thought new great look. You know, let's put this down. New great look. You know, different kind of buttons. It's still called the 8-man 4K. I'll just get another one so I can show all you how great this thing is. And let's get more angles and all that. But, um, yeah. So, we had some issues. Now, I'll, I'll show some a little later, some comparison video of the early stuff I did with this. And, you know, the most recent video with this that I didn't even post because of the issues you're going to see. And then I tried to say, well, I had both cameras on me. I'll just use the footage from this one. And this one was just awful, horrible. And you're like, well, aren't they both 8-man 4Ks? Well, yeah, that's the problem. They're both called the 8-man 4K, not the 8-man 4K 1, 2, 3, nothing. It's just called the 8-man 4K. There's no real discerning, I mean, maybe we can look up model numbers, but how stupid is that getting now? You know, uh, you know, like, imagine if you couldn't tell the difference between iPhones unless you went up by the model number. Oh, you know, this is model SU-106. No, no, no one's going to look up the model. No, it, it's going to be the iPhone 6, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, whatever. So, this was just the 8-man 4K. So, I got this. You can feel an obvious weight difference. Like I said, it came with this case. So it was, in a sense, a higher quality all around. And then I ordered another one since I thought the quality was, you know, great. I, I ordered another one and I said, you know, I'm going to show you guys more footage and things like that. And as you notice, I haven't even had any more mountain biking videos. And that's because this one had issues that I'll show you. And even with changing the memory cards, maybe it was a memory card issue. It wasn't a memory card issue. It seemed to be a camera issue. Now, maybe it's a lighting issue because when you're in the trails, it's kind of on the darker side. But I didn't have that issue before, so I don't see why it's happening now. Like I said, we'll, we'll get into that a little later in here. But let's just talk about some key differences here. Um, as far as the batteries, there is no key differences going on. The key differences are nothing. They're the same damn battery. And I'm actually pretty sure that most of these action budget act really budget action cameras are probably all the same freaking battery anyways so i mean whatever whatever that means to anyone just take that however you will uh i'm pretty sure these will all work in the same ones but here's the thing there is an obvious weight difference between the old one and the new one the old one you could tap there's no vibrating metal in there of cheapness you know when you get something cheap it's real light like crazy lightweight and you can tap it it's got that like ding vibration to it you know what i'm talking you know what i'm talking about yeah no but this has that ding vibration thing going on this does not this though this one the, the original one was nice and solid it just started having issues which like i said i'll show you a little later but anyways uh my problem that i run into is I bought the 8-man 4K thinking with the new button, it's just a newer version of it. Whatever, it's a new version of it with the new button, whatever, they, they, they've just upgraded a little bit. It can't get worse. And it didn't, it told me that it had like the Wi-Fi and stuff so I can get over, you know, to the phone and thing. Now, when I bought this, it really was just, it was just one 8-man 4K. That was this one right here. And uh, you could Wi-Fi it over to the phone screen and, and share the screen and everything. And you were supposed to on this one, but... There's no option for it. There's no option for Wi-Fi or anything. There's just a bunch of stuff missing. There's no image stable. There's no gyro. This had a gyro, not just image stabilization, like digital. This had a gyro image stabilization. 
So that made a big difference. I mean, it made things a lot smoother than what this thing is gonna be. Now I'm just gonna have to, I think I deleted the footage of me mountain biking with this, and I'm gonna have to go take a look. Uh, but uh, if, if I did, then I'll just use, like I'm just gonna take a quick video and just show you like how unstable it kinda really is. And like I said, you could tell it's definitely cheaper. You tap it, you get that like, that metal vibration sound like that, whoa, 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 you know, like, like that, where it's like a, a, a metal tab, like a thin metal tab that vibrates because of the tap. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like a room, like a cheap remote would do that. You tap it with no batteries in there and you'll, and you'll hear like the, you know, things move around like springs and things that, you know, that hold the batteries in that that's what you're getting from this. It, it's cheap. And, and you would have no way of knowing. That's why one of the biggest reasons I can't recommend this to you. And that's um, a big thing of why I've stopped just getting products and just start reviewing them right off the bat. Because I really don't know what the final verdict of that is. Just using it for a week does nothing. I need to really give you guys uh, a, 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 and girls, you know, if we want to get into that. I have to give my viewers, uh, you know, my... Um, my point of what I've seen and, and just telling you after a couple days of use doesn't give you justice. That's that's as good as an unboxing really. Doesn't really do much to you. So now using it for so long, I'm glad I didn't make a video recommending this like I thought I wanted to in the first place. Instead, instead, now I'm making a video showing you you should probably not buy it. Because I can't recommend a product to you that I can't guarantee that even if I give an affiliate link that you're going to get the right product. Okay? That's the problem. Now I'm gonna put the links in there, I guess, if you want it. Uh, why not, right? But overall, this I I just can't I just can't uh, uh, recommend this by any means. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to go into some video and show you the issues that I've come into contact with with the old camera and what the new camera looks like and just maybe you'll get an idea of why not <laughs> you know you see oh right, let's let's get it let's go so let's start out with this video this is one of my earlier ones that you might have seen where it was my most fun vlog ever and this is when the ape man the original one i bought was running nice see how smooth it is everything looks great the colors look great uh it's it's just good all around you know for something that you're gonna pay a reasonable this is what I was having at the time this was great and this is what I was supporting it looked awesome and it was worth the money that you paid for the 8-man 4k at the time uh, but now we're about to get into what this same camera looks like now now I understand it's a little bit lighter here but it shouldn't make that much of a difference so we go into this now, and you'll find that even though it's not as light, it still shouldn't have the problems that you're seeing, where you'll see a lot of colors blotched together as if the processing just doesn't work anymore, as if it can't handle what it's being put through. As you see, everything's just very grayish, and I understand it is darker, but look, that's a bright sky above us. It is middle of summer, it is not incredibly late, and it, it, there's no reason for it to look like it does with this blotchy patches of darkness and just gray scale and it just looks awful and and the blurriness that comes in out of nowhere like over all the green the blurriness off on the sides and even on the rocks it just it's no good anymore that's this is what I'm at and now we come to the new one that I bought and yeah the the, the colors are poppy and more lively like it like the other one was supposed to be and but the stabilization is completely gone absolutely horrible I can't even go down a normal path without it I mean it's un it's almost unwatchable I understand we're a little leaned over on the side here with the camera too but that's not the camera's fault but still it's just very crappy and that wraps these video segments alright so we are back done with the video watching and now it's up for you to decide what do you think you think you're gonna go run out and give it a try I mean the price isn't too bad I mean really not horrible but anyways what do you think it's up to you just like it's up to you to subscribe like share comment and then follow me on Twitter at ready set game 87 other than that you know for all those who like watching my videos, you know how it goes. I'll see you next time.